While you've been catching up on your beauty sleep, the cosmos hasn't taken a nap. Space exploration is on fire, and recent reports just landed about SpaceX's Starship. What new frontiers are we crossing? And how close are we to living on Mars? Get yourselves ready as SpaceX prepares to roll out the Starship's super heavy booster to the launch pad for its highly anticipated fifth test flight. This colossal booster, standing at a staggering height, is set to redefine the future of space travel. Designed to carry the ambitious Starship spacecraft, it promises to pave the way for interplanetary missions and beyond. Today, we're diving into some super exciting news from SpaceX that's bound to get your rockets firing. So, what's the buzz about? SpaceX is gearing up for their fifth test flight of the Starship Super Heavy Booster, and let me tell you, it's going to be epic. The booster is making its grand entrance onto the launch pad, and we're here to give you all the details. This fifth test flight may take place in just a few weeks. The company recently rolled Starship's massive first-stage booster, known as Super Heavy, out to the launch pad at Starbase, its facility in coastal South Texas. SpaceX documented the movements via social media, sharing four photographs and a 30-second video on X on Tuesday. First things first, let's talk about this Godzilla of a booster. Standing at a jaw-dropping 233 feet tall, the Super Heavy booster is a critical component of SpaceX's Starship system. Starship is a two-stage Super Heavy lift launch vehicle being developed by SpaceX. The first stage booster, called Super Heavy, stands at 233 feet tall and 30 feet wide. It has 33 Raptor engines grouped in three concentric rings. To conserve weight, the outermost ring of 20 engines doesn't have gimbal actuators or onboard starter hardware. These engines are started with attachments on the launch mount and are not restarted for subsequent fires. At full power, all engines combined provide 74,400 kilonewtons of thrust, which is more than twice that of the Saturn V first stage. The 33 separate plumes interact to create massive shock diamonds in the exhaust. The booster's control system consists of four electrically actuated grid fins, each weighing three tons. The booster is hoisted by projecting hard points situated between the grid fins. The vented inner stage, located above the grid fins, is used for hot staging. This involves the higher stage firing its engines during stage separation rather than after. As of July 2024, it's the largest and most powerful vehicle ever to fly. Both stages are powered by Raptor engines, the first in-production full-flow stage combustion cycle engines that run on liquid methane and oxygen. Methane is used as fuel in the Raptor engine instead of kerosene because it improves performance and prevents deposits from forming in the engine due to coking. The saboteur process, which uses carbon dioxide and water, can also make methane. The engines are meant to be reused numerous times and require little maintenance. The main structure is built of a unique stainless steel alloy known as 30X. When boosting the spacecraft, Super Heavy separates when the top stage ignites its engines. It then executes a boost back burn, which stops all forward velocity and speeds the booster on a trajectory towards the landing site, followed by a landing burn before being caught by a pair of hydraulic actuating arms connected to the launch tower. Now, this isn't just any rocket. It's designed to carry humans to Mars and beyond. Just imagine, we're looking at the future of interplanetary travel right here. In continuation to the launching plan, rolling this giant onto the launch pad is no small feat. It's a meticulously choreographed dance involving state-of-the-art machinery and a team of incredibly skilled engineers. The precision and coordination required to move such a massive structure is nothing short of a technological ballet. Payloads will be installed into Starship in a separate facility before being transported to the launch site. The Super Heavy and Starship are then stacked on their launch mounts and loaded with fuel using the Ship Quick Disconnect arm and Booster Quick Disconnect. Then the SQD and BQD withdraw all 33 engines of the Super Heavy Ignite, and the rocket takes off. At the height of around 64 kilometers and 159 seconds after launch, Super Heavy shuts off all but three of its center gimbaling rocket motors. The Starship then turns on its engines and breaks free of the rocket while still connected. The booster reduces engine speed when hot staging. After that, the booster spins, and 10 more engines are fired for the boost back burn. With Super Heavy on a trajectory for a controlled descent to the launch site, Utilizing its grid fins for small course corrections, the booster's engines cut off when the boost back burn is over. Six minutes later, just before landing, it fires all 13 of its engines, then turns off all but the inner three to slow down enough to be captured by the two tower-mounted mechanical arms. According to Musk, it would take eight launches to fully refuel a starship in low Earth orbit. 
NASA has calculated that in order to partially refuel Starship for a single lunar landing, 16 launches would be required in quick succession. Starship will ignite its engines in order to slow down and land on surfaces without an atmosphere, like the Moon. On planets having atmospheres, Starship slows down by passing through the atmosphere via a heat shield. It takes months of planning and coordination to ensure everything goes smoothly. Seeing it on the pad ready for another test flight will be a momentous occasion. Starship is the most recent project in SpaceX's decades-long reusable launch system development program and goal of populating Mars. Star Factory is the massive new manufacturing facility that SpaceX is constructing at Starbase. According to SpaceX executives, once completed and completely optimized, the Star Factory could produce one Starship each day. SpaceX obviously has a thing for star names. In addition to Starship, Starbase, and Star Factory, there's Starlink, the company's internet mega constellation that presently has over 6,000 active satellites. As of 2024, Starship is being developed in an iterative and progressive manner with test flights of prototype vehicles. A successor to SpaceX's Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets, Starship is supposed to carry out a variety of space missions. SpaceX anticipates big things from the completely reusable vehicle, seeing it as a game changer that'll make grand spaceflight accomplishments like a Mars colony economically viable. Starship's first four test flights took place in April and November 2023, as well as on March 14th and June 6th this year. Starship's two stages, Super Heavy and the 165-foot-tall upper stage, known as Starship or simply Ship, didn't separate during the first flight, which terminated in a controlled detonation just four minutes after liftoff. However, with each consecutive launch, Starship improved its performance. Flight 4, for example, was a total success, with both the Super Heavy and Ship returning to Earth for ocean splashdowns as anticipated. But what makes this fifth test flight so special? Flight 5 could feature another leap, grabbing Super Heavy with the chopstick arms of Starbase's massive launch tower, making maintenance and reflight more efficient. Each flight brings us one step closer to a fully reusable spacecraft capable of making human space travel affordable and sustainable. In this test flight, SpaceX will be pushing the boundaries even further, testing the limits of the booster's performance and fine-tuning its reusability. The test flight will involve the booster lifting off, soaring to the skies, and then performing a series of complex maneuvers before attempting a controlled landing. If successful, this will be a huge leap forward in proving the viability of reusing these gigantic boosters. Imagine the possibilities, reducing the cost of space travel and making the dream of exploring other planets a reality. Musk stated via X on 5th of July that the mission will lift off in four weeks. The Starship will rely on orbital refueling from tanker variations. A ship-to-ship -ship propellant transfer test is scheduled in 2025 to validate this vital feature. Starship will also launch SpaceX's second-generation Starlink satellite constellation, and the Starship HLS variant will land people on the moon as part of the Artemis mission, which begins with Artemis 3 in 2026. The energy and excitement about the launch are palpable. Scientists, engineers, and of course space fans from around the world are eagerly awaiting this moment. And who can blame them? Each test flight of the Starship Super Heavy Booster is a step towards a new era in space exploration. From the early days of Falcon 1 to the groundbreaking achievements of the Falcon Heavy and Dragon missions, SpaceX has continuously pushed the envelope. And now with the Starship Super Heavy Booster, they're setting their sights on the stars, literally. Whether you're a seasoned space enthusiast or new to the wonders of space travel, this is a moment to celebrate human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of the unknown. So mark your calendars, set your alarms, and get ready to witness history in the making. The Starship Super Heavy Booster is about to take flight, and who knows what new discoveries await us beyond the horizon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more space updates. See you in the next video.